Let us celebrate his presence. Acts 2, 28 tells us, you will make me full of joy in your presence. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II visited Jamaica February 18 to 20, 2002. Much preparation was done prior to her visit and there was a great deal of publicity. The local media broadcast her arrival, the radio, the newspaper, and television stations set aside time for her coverage. And the island's uh, best security personnel made it a point of their duty to secure the Queen and the Prince roads were, uh, were blocked to facilitate the smooth flow of her transportation. Unfortunately, some of the citizens never got the chance to meet her and they could only stand afar off and watch her move from place to place. Yet, all celebrated her presence. However, more than likely, Christ has visited your house. He has been in your country time and time again and still is present. Church, he might have visited you there, or maybe he might have visited your workplace. He just wanted to have an intimate talk with you. He wanted to meet you personally. You did not expect him and seemed quite surprised when he came. You barely acknowledged him, and even though he asked kindly to sit and talk for a while, you told him coldly that you could not entertain his presence right now. You see, he came in an expected, unexpected form and time. You may not have qualified for the visit of the Queen or for her to visit you, but the Prince of Peace, El Shaddai, the God of this universe, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, he thought that you are so important enough to pay you a visit. How wonderful it is to receive his visit, to be assured that he will make you full of joy in his presence. You need to start celebrating his presence today. Here's my thought for today. Jesus may come to your house today, not as the picture on the wall. He simply comes another way you least expect at all. Father, thank you for a very special day when you have promised to visit me and to visit your children. I pray that your hand will be upon our lives as we celebrate your coming into our hearts and into our lives. Thank you because we are celebrating your presence even in the midst of COVID-19. Amen. Have a good and a great day.